long, dirty, and in desperate need of a stylish update. This is the McDonald Master Closet. And with a very light wallet and a lot of sweat and tears, I'm transforming this space with a whole new look. And it's a surprise for my husband. Lindsay, listen, let's do this. My mother, a builder, has given me an arsenal of design advice. And my sidekick, Frank the Handyman, is taking my wish list and making it happen. Okay, so you're gonna put granite on top. Right. And then these drawers are gonna be moved down here. Perfect. That per that yeah, no, that works out great. You tell me, will that work? So well, that'll work, but then what are you putting on top of the granite? Like nice little accoutrement. Like what the heck is accoutrement? <laughs> Daytime's decorative artist, Jeff Monsine, has already transformed my boring white walls into faux crocodile skin masterpieces. He also refinished my Formica cabinets into wood grain works of art. I'm hoping to take that same wood grain look and bring it into my closet. So, do you think I can do this? <laughs> I don't know. Jeff's not the only one concerned about my brushwork. Lindsay's ideas and concepts are great, but her follow through is horrible. And Lindsay, please get some professional help. Looks like I'll take their advice. Partly. I'll let the pro do the heavy lifting, but I'll work on the wood grain drawer fronts. Lots of paint! Which means I'll need a tutorial from Jeff. So what we've done already is we've painted the lightest color of the wood. That's, that's this base coat here. And what we have here is um, paint mixed with glaze. And the reason we put glaze in it is so that you have a little bit more time to move it around. Just brush it on like this and you're emulating the wood grain. Once it has thoroughly dried, you wanna put a coat or two of sealer on it. And you're just gonna put it on very, very thinly, let that dry, and put the next coat on. <laughs> Look at my son's even getting <laughs> excited about this. Come here, he little buddy. He can't wait until the project is done. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> that makes two of us. And with just a few weeks to finish the project, off to work we go. Taking down lights, taping, then comes the spraying. Mass covered with a tough paint and brown sugar that'll stick to just about anything. I attack the walls with the silver hue. And to keep a cozy, envelope-like feel, I add gray to the ceiling, only in a more subtle tone to make it appear higher. And then comes the drawer fronts. First the sanding, then the base coat, and several layers of brown sugar mixed with a glaze. I opt for a very subtle wood grain look and finish them off with the sealer. Here's a recap. Remember what the closet looked like before? Used and abused. And this is what the closet looks like now. Along with the freshly painted walls, cabinets, and drawer fronts, we wired and hung Moroccan lanterns that give off interesting shadows. In place of some drawers, we added a beverage area, complete with a wine fridge, mirror, and a small piece of granite. Adding more mirrors to the closet makes the space appear bigger. And here's my favorite part. I added a mirror door, and when you open it up, there are my shoe shelves. Now, okay, let's see what Steve thinks of his new in. closet. Are you ready? We're ready. Wow. Do you like it? Very cool. What does yeah. it look like to It's you? like Casablanca meets the Buddha bar. <laughs> Good job, well, honey. Then, well, listen, now after all that hard work, you can put the clothes back. Yeah. <laughs>